Here's a few movies to check out this week, currently on Netflix Instant. Crime Thriller. Nightcrawler. Jake Gyllenhaal plays a guy who inadvertently becomes a freelance cameraman. I know that doesn't sound like the most exciting thing, but it's really his performance that sells it. Well, that and the writing, too. The writing is impeccable. Gyllenhaal plays this guy who definitely has some sort of social issues, and he's generally unlikable. So it's very odd that you actually start to root for him, even though he is an absolute scumbag, especially with some of the things that he does. What he's doing is he's working the overnight shift. He's filming all sorts of crimes and things that happen overnight in Los Angeles. So shootings, stabbings, fires, anything that'll get thrown up on the news is shocking. The movie was nominated for a ton of awards, and it definitely should have been. It's a very well put together movie. Horror. The House is October Built. If you like this movie or not, it's going to rely heavily on how much you can deal with found footage films. A little bit of history on the movie first. Uh, Originally in 2011, the people who made this film, they made a documentary called The House is October Built. It's about all the haunted houses that go up in October and the people that are trying to one-up the other places. Uh, It's rumors of places using real body parts, uh, doing that little bit extra for uh, the scare, and every year they kind of just keep pushing the envelope a little bit further. So they filmed this documentary about that, and it premiered at a couple of film festivals and did really well. So they took the concept from that and made it into a found footage film. And what the found footage film is about, it's about a group of friends that are traveling to a few locations that they've heard were the most extreme haunted houses. I like the cast. I thought they did a good job. I'm sure they improv the majority of it. The only thing I didn't like, I wasn't really a big fan of the end. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who might be interested in it. I really thought that they were going to do something else, let's just say. It's not a revolutionary found footage movie. You're not going to see anything you haven't really seen before, but I think the scares are there. I like the way that it was done, and overall I enjoyed it. Mystery Thriller, Exam. I believe I recommended this one a while ago, but I'm going to bring it back again in case anyone hasn't seen it. This is a really good movie. The whole movie essentially takes place in one room. It's a bunch of people that are taking a test to try to get this really desirable corporate job. And the thing is, the test isn't really a test. Uh, They're sitting at a desk and they have a blank piece of paper in front of them. And there's no instructions, there's nothing given. And the group kind of turn on each other. They start to uh, look for hidden clues. They're trying to find out what the mystery is, like what is the test that they're supposed to be taking. With a movie like this that takes place in one location with a bunch of actors, it heavily relies on two things, the actress' performances and the script. And I thought both things held up really well. Another horror film, Late Phases. I know a lot of you don't like horror, but I've been catching up on my 2014 movies, and there's a lot of horror on there. This one was really impressive. It's about an ex-Vietnam vet who, because of an accident in the war, uh, has slowly been losing his eyesight, and now he's completely blind. And he's moving into an old age community, basically with the mindset that he's going there to die. His first night there, his neighbor gets killed by a werewolf. And he's blind, so he can't see the werewolf, but he knows that it's there. And so now he knows that the werewolf knows that he knows. So in a month, when there's another full moon, the werewolf's going to come to kill him. So he spends the duration of the film preparing for when the werewolf comes back to kill him. This was a damn good movie. Nick DiMici, who was the lead in Stakeland, gives a phenomenal performance. He's a bitter older guy who just wants to be left alone. And his interactions with the people in town are really funny. The only thing that was a little weak was the werewolf was not as believable looking as it could have been. But they kind of went with the less is more feel. They didn't show him too much. They kind of showed parts of him. And uh, you really only got a few views of him in his entirety. I give credit where it's due, though. They didn't cop out and have CGI in there. And the werewolf transformation was pretty cool. That's all I got for this week. I'll see you next time.